our immune system is made in a way that any pathogen which comes to our body is attacked by our immune system but in gbs our immune system goes against us it's not a notifiable disease the first thing that can be done for better tracking and better uh, effectively managing the challenges related to diseases making it a notifiable disease it happens to 1 to 2 out of 1 lakh annually and that too in adult males the out, the main cause of the outbreak is the contaminated water supplies unfortunately there is no proper treatment because this is not a disease it's a syndrome which comes with a set of symptoms so that's why only the symptoms can be managed hello and welcome to the perspective a series by vision ias where we delve into critical contemporary issues ranging from polity economy governance or very relevant for civil service aspirant as well as curious minds today we will focus upon a serious yet misunderstood medical condition gillen berry syndrome or gbs india has seen recent rise in the cases of gbs with maharashtra alone reporting more than 200 cases as well as fatalities so what is this gbs what causes it and most importantly how to prevent such outbreaks we will discuss all this with esteemed panelists sunil sir chiranjeet sir welcome sir thank you doctor sir before we start what is this gbs kapil imagine someone is playing cricket on the field he has lost sensation is in his hand in his feet and eventually when he is taken to the hospital doctor diagnosed him with gbs in the rare event he might be paralyzed also now imagine the nightmare of the person who is not able to feel his own body gbs is autoimmune disease our immune system is made in a way that any pathogen which comes to our body is attacked by our immune system but in gbs our immune system goes against us our immune system attack the peripheral nervous system thus affecting the sensations and the feelings associated with touch and feel this is a rare disease it happens to 1 to 2 out of 1 lakh annually and that too in adult males so gbs is a disease in which our own immune system start attacking our body it is very scary So let's discuss what are the symptom of this disease. So Chiranjit sir, can you tell our viewers what are the symptoms of this GBS? Sure, Kapil sir. Now before knowing what the symptoms are, we need to understand what is a syndrome, and how is it different from a disease. Now a disease always has a particular identified living organism behind it. It can be a bacterium, it can be a virus, but when it comes to a syndrome, there is no specific identifiable cause. it always comes with a set of a set of linked symptoms just like aids acquired immunodeficiency syndrome gbs is also a syndrome it has a set of linked or associated symptoms now what happens before that let's just know and understand through an analogy for example it has already been explained by sunil sir this is just about the internal mechanism what happens inside now for example imagine a body to be a house and some thieves or burglars enter in now that triggers an alarm now there is a house protector he comes out with a gun to protect the family but he misfires in confusion instead of killing the burglars or the thieves he kills one of the family members so that is what exactly happens in this case so the immune system instead of attacking or along with attacking the pathogens also attacks the healthy neurons now what happens the b cells a type of wbc the b cells mis misidentifies a particular pathogen as that neuron material specifically for example you must have seen how a neuron looks for example this is my hand this is the central part of the cell these are dendrites and this is the axon through which electrical impulses pass and there is a protective sheet sheath on it that gets spoiled by the b cells and that results in malfunctioning of electrical impulses so that is what this syndrome is all about now what happens there are sensory neurons and motor neurons 
first primarily sensory neurons are affected as soon as the myelin coat is gone the proteins are gone the sensory neurons fail to transmit electrical signals okay so you just uh, just like sir said there will be some tingling effect normally we call them pins and needles and there is a very special very special characteristic about this syndrome it always starts from the lower part of the limbs i am discussing the classic case of gbs the classic gbs case we are not discussing the subvariants of gbs for example there is one more syndrome i mean you not know that it's called miller uh, fisher syndrome which is a subvariant of gbs now in this particular case what happens there is the lower limbs are affected for, uh, primarily and then it gradually moves up and both the limbs are affected so symmetry is another characteristic of gbs as it proceeds up sometimes facial muscles are are also affected and that causes paralysis so if the cranial muscles are affected you can get paralysis and sometimes a small part of pns but very significant it's called the autonomic nervous system a part of pns peripheral nervous system that regulates your breathing heartbeat and digestion process so these can also be affected so these are the symptoms and one more important thing this is an acute disease not a chronic disease so the onset is very rapid that is why people find it difficult to correlate what exactly is happening so these are the symptoms primarily but sir as you mentioned like symptoms like tingling or muscle pain these are very common symptoms also so i think early screening becomes very crucial in identifying that somebody is having a gbs right absolutely correct now going beyond symptoms sunil sir what is the cause of this gbs kapil as pointed by chiranjit sir any pathogen can trigger this but the main culprit is campylobacter jejuni it is found in poultry products and contaminated water other pathogens like viruses and bacteria can also trigger this like zika virus influenza virus and the other viruses even vaccine can also trigger this because in vaccine we produce an antigen in the body and antibodies gets created but that is a very rare event and generally we ignore these types of cases while giving vaccines so when we talk about any disease we always associate it with a particular pathogen but what it comes to gbs it can be triggered by any pathogen so chiranjit sir now coming to the treatment once a person is diagnosed with gbs what are the treatments available or undertaken for the patient well kapil sir unfortunately there is no proper treatment because this is not a disease it's a syndrome which comes with a set of symptoms which i had mentioned earlier so that's why only the symptoms can be managed and what are the symptoms for example pins and needles sensation which is called tingling sensation or breathing problems so the primary uh, the primary treatment is removing the affected antibodies which are not respecting the body of which they are a part so there is a treatment called plasma exclusion which is called plasma pheresis so the antibodies in the plasma will be removed there is another procedure which is called intravenous immunoglobulins insertion so what can be done here there is a particular donor from which healthy antibodies will be taken and these healthy antibodies will be injected into through the iv procedure into the body of the affected individual so they will start respecting the body in a good way that means they are not going to affect that particular individual anymore and if there are physical problems for example if the motor neurons are also affected for example if somebody is having troubles breathing or swallowing food then supportive care can be given for breathing problems ventilators can be provided or if somebody is not able to move then other aids and external assistance can be given so sir how long does it take for a person to recover after this treatment well it can be weeks sometimes it can run into months and to get proper recovery and get rid of all the symptoms it may take years also we have looked at what is gbs right now coming to the main point about why it happens right so recently india had this outbreak so sunil sir can you throw some light what caused this outbreak of gbs in india see kapil the outbreak of gbs is in maharashtra and in the vicinity of pune in pune the main culprit that i talked earlier campylobacter jejuni is found in the water the pune government acted swiftly 
RO water contaminated plants were switched down but before that the virus already spread the bacteria already spread and this this made this outbreak to come sir having looked at the disease now let's talk about the outbreak so what was the cause of this gbs outbreak in india kapil investigation has revealed that the outbreak is in maharashtra specific to the pune area the out, the main cause of the outbreak is the contaminated water supplies the contaminated water supplies have bacteria like campylobacteria jejuni and norovirus when the government realized this the water supplies were already shut but before that this contaminated water spread to the neighboring districts of pune also thus affecting the larger population and created an outbreak so was the government response effective in the case of pune yes government acted swiftly all those 19 ro water plants were shut down and who also intervened in surveillance and symptom management but still lot needs to be done since this is not a notifiable disease the data the real time tracking of this disease is not happening so what is this notifiable disease that you just mentioned notifiable disease is a disease which have to be reported to the health ministry by law and who is going to report this the hospitals and once you report this you can control the disease and the epidemic aspect of it jnj sir as sunil sir has mentioned the outbreak is more about public health management right so how do we prevent such outbreaks from happening in future as sir mentioned it's not a notifiable disease the first thing that can be done for better tracking and better uh, effectively managing the challenges related to diseases making it a notifiable disease if at all possible now it's a governance related uh, strategy next comes nationwide surveillance so that proper number of cases can be tracked and handled and apart from that infrastructure related challenges have to be addressed for example clean water and sanitation proper piped water supply and lastly public awareness everything lies in the hands of the public if they are not aware if the symptoms are not known to them if they don't get to know about the associated challenges of gbs and other uh, like uh, related challenges for example if the uh, particular human being is affected by pathogen he or she thinks that it's going to be limited to just that but after a few weeks a new sy- syndrome enters the body or starts affecting the individual so i think at the government level spreading awareness is of utmost importance Thank you panelists for providing this detailed discussion about GBS. So to wrap it up, GBS is a rare but a life threatening disease if not detected early. The recent outbreak which we saw in Pune was linked to contaminated water. So it raised serious issues about public health management as well as public awareness. If you like this discussion, please mention about it in our comment section and stay tuned for more such detailed discussion about contemporary issues and do share like subscribe our channel thanks